YouTube it's Sat, welcome to Driver 81. Welcome to this lovely early November morning. It's official, autumn is in full swing. And while I appreciate that a lot of Porsche owners tend to put their cars away up for the window, they wrap them up in their garages, or take them off the road for the window just to keep them in good condition, keep the salt off the cars, I generally tend to run my cars all, all year round. Um, if there's any Porsche 911 that is suitable for driving all year round in the snow and the ice and the, the bad conditions, it's going to be a Carrera 4S. So that's what I'll be doing, I'll be keeping it on the road. However, I uh, do have a bit of a problem because my diary basically for the next eight weeks is just full and I don't actually know when I'll get the chance to drive this car again so um, my hand may have been uh, sort of dealt for me in that I may not be able to drive this car again for the rest of the year. Just so many work commitments and uh, personal commitments over the next eight weeks um, may well mean that this is the last drive of the year unfortunately. Now what I have done just in case I, I do get an opportunity to put the car out again I've put on the, um, well when I bought the car I got two sets of wheels, one with the HRE 20 inch and I've put on the second set of wheels which is the uh, Lobster Claws, a 19 inch Lobster Claw, claw wheels uh, with Michelin tyres so they have a silver ring, have a look at those see what you think. love these wheels to be honest with you uh, not as a summer wheel I love my GT3 wheels but they will be in storage for the next few months and I'll probably put those back on the car maybe March April May time of 2019 so it's a good opportunity for me this uh, this early morning to actually get out give the car one final good drive and um, what we're doing is um, there's a group of us going down to Porsche Center Teesside now they're having one of their open days on this morning which basically allows uh, Porsche Club members to take their car down, get their car on the ramps and get an inspection done. It's kind of like a winter inspection to make sure that the car will uh, keep you safe and be running okay over the winter period. Now I'm personally not going to put my car on the ramps today because I had a service done a few weeks ago and uh, the car was basically given the all clear so uh, I don't see the point in taking up the space somebody else can get the, get a chance and get their car uh, on the ramps and get an inspection done for winter it's also a good chance to uh, meet up with friends boxed up uh, meet up with friends uh, have a nice cup of tea get some breakfast because uh, they put on a good spread down at Porsche Centre Teesside uh, they're very welcoming to the Porsche Club of Great Britain Region 3 so uh, big thumbs up to Porsche Centre Teesside for that. So enough of me rambling let's get down to Porsche Centre Teesside.
Yeah, your IMS is gone. It's it's gone. <laughs> Look, you see that there? Have that's that's your IMS. That's that's your IMS there. <laughs> <laughs> and while I'm here, it would be rude not to take a look at their current stock. This is the 997-911 Sport Classic and it was launched in 2009 and they only produced 250 units. Despite being based on a humble Carrera S, this model has 402 brake horsepower and a whopping price tag of £300,000. After a few more workshop tests, it's time to head back home in the 997. It's been an absolutely fantastic year, probably one of my favourite car years ever. I've done a lot of car shows, a lot of Porsche Club Great Britain, a lot, a lot of 911 UK events, a lot of track days, a lot of spirited driving in this car, uh, and it certainly won't be one to uh, forget. But that's it for me in the 997 for this year. I'll still be making a lot more videos on any other vehicles that I have. I'm also looking to get a Porsche Cayman, so hopefully I can run that over the winter. But for me in the 997, we'll see you next year. Yeah.